Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another movie review, and uh, back on actually on another rant. It's been I just been on a roll recently with past movie some past movie reviews. Mostly a lot of them recently have been rants, you know. So, <laughs> so I just been on a roll recently. <laughs> so, but this time it's not, it's not a rant on another new film this year. It's a rant. On uh, a film from actually fifth this year, fifth fifteen years ago, so two thousand six. So, so yeah, from two thousand six, yeah, fifteen fifteen years ago. So, but in this and it's another and it's a two thousand six remake. Yeah, so another on another remake. And on another on another, on another Disney fi Disney film. And it stars Tim Allen. So, 20, 2006 remake with Tim Allen, and that is of the Shaggy Dog. Yeah, this is this is a remake from uh, from from the from the original Shaggy from the original Shaggy Dog. And there's a reason a lot of people don't remember. There's a reason a lot of people don't remember this film. If so, if so, for good reason. Yeah, I mean Tim Allen. First of all, I, I I always enjoyed Tim Allen. You know, I always I always, me and my brother always enjoyed Home Improvement. Tim the Tim the Toolman Taylor. I like the first Santa Claus film. Sequels not so much. Um, I enjoy Wild Hogs. Yeah, and I always enjoyed his voice as Buzz Lightyear from the Toy Star movies. And Tim Allen is he's done. Stuff in between, but at times a lot. But a lot of times, it does it does some a lot of bad, a lot of bad comedies. This is one of them. This uh, Zoom. You know, oh, I forgot to mention. I do. I highly enjoy Galaxy Quest. I reviewed that a while back. Galaxy Quest. I really did. I really did enjoy. Tim Allen was good in that. Let's see. But uh, like I said, this film Zoom that was supposed to be a <laughs> it's a bad superhero film. <laughs> I know he did he I know he's done a little bit a couple of dramas like there was that one film Red Belt with Cheshire Lajvar you know so that's more that was more of a drama what but uh, he he can do that. And I like I do like and me and my brother also uh, liked um this this comedy show of Last Man Standing. Last Man Standing is a good is a good is a, is a good show too. But like I said he's some of the choices he does especially comedies is times is not um does it doesn't work this is not, and this is one of them. The Shaggy Dog. Let's finish though. <clears throat> And the funny thing is, it starts also your bad guy in this is Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, this is this is two years before becoming Iron Man. Um, and because you know, <clears throat> wish that everyone else would probably say that Iron Man is one that just is one that just re-energized um, Robert Downey Jr.'s career. Because for a while, because <clears throat> for a while, his career wasn't all that great. And this is probably this is one of them. I mean, you have him right here. Acting like a dog with his tongue out, you know, you can see right there, embarrassing himself, which is people, people, people like are people are so glad he why he became Iron Man and redeemed himself. Danny Glover is in this, an actor I highly enjoy from *Lethal Weapon*, *Blue Book Movies*, *Predator 2*. I love Danny Glover. Here he he's wasted in this. He has he 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 just has he literally has nothing to do here. Who else? Yeah, Spencer Breslin, um, who's been the the Santa Claus sequels with Tim Allen, also um in Zoom with Tim Allen. <laughs> but okay. It was and the film was a critical and box office failure as well. So, so that says something. And it's directed by Brian, uh, 
Brian Robbins or Ribbit. Yeah, Brian Robbins. He's an act. He was an actor also, but he's mostly as a director though. He directed Good Burger, Good Burger with Keenan and Kel, Ferocity Blues, Ready to Rumble, Hardball. Um, but then after, um, <clears throat> yeah, Hardball is one with uh, was a kit with Keanu Reeves. Yeah. But after he did the but after he did the Shaggy Dog. He he wanted to do three three horrible comedies with Eddie Murphy. He directed Norbit, that was absolute garbage. He directed Meet Dave, another one with Eddie Murphy that was garbage. And the last one he did from twenty twelve, well, it said it was filmed in two thousand eight, but was released in twenty twelve. <clears throat> was a thousand words. So three horrible Eddie Murphy comedies he directed. <clears throat> Norbert, Norbert being the worst. So, but this is, yeah, I would say this is better than all, any of those Eddie Murphy films he did, though, but I ain't even saying much. And as for the plot, Tim Allen, he plays a, uh, which is a typical thing we see a whole, done a whole bunch of times. He's a father who's a workaholic, you know, he's not spending time with the family. We see that done a lot of times before, right? Especially with Eddie Mur especially with Eddie Murphy. Like with Imagine That. Um The Haunted Mansion. <clears throat> but we should have done it a whole bunch of times, right? You know, we're calling dad, not paying attention. <sighs> not paying attention to the family. See this film's making me fall asleep. <laughs> we should have done it a whole bunch of times, right? Robert Downey Jr. is your bad guy. He's a guy who does genetic research. There's this 300-year-old sheepdog, you can say. So he wants to find out why he has lived that long. You know, doing do experiments on it. He gets out. Um, and, and also Tim Allen. Not only is he a workaholic dad, not paying too much to the family, though, but he doesn't like dogs either. So he doesn't like dogs. I mean, you get dogs, you see it. Like the, pretty much in the opening, you see like, uh, or in the beginning, a dog piss in. Yeah, dog piss jokes. I know. And then it bites Tim Allen, and then he becomes infected with the genetic stuff, and then he starts to gain the sy gain the sy symptoms like a dog, you know, scratch himself, chasing a cat or whatever. All the symptoms of a dog, even to a point where. He runs all fours, chasing a cat, and then bumps into this old lady and sends that old lady flying. <laughs> and then, of course, I also have, oh, he has a, a long, his tongue gets longer, you know, CGI long tongue, CGI. And then, and then eventually he becomes, transforms into this, into the shaggy dog, basically. Which... And then when he, turn, when he turns back into a human, he's naked. Yeah, because the dog doesn't wear clothes, right? And it's a typical thing where he learns his lesson. Like when he's in it, when he's as a dog, um, you see, hear his kids talk talking about him, you know, and basically, oh, you know. Been, basically, I've been there for the family. Now he wants to be there for the family. Now, basically, learn his lesson. Basically, and then the and also in the genetic research, you know, like Robert Downey Jr. is experiment, experimenting, experimenting on other animals with uh, with dog symptoms, like you, like um, was a frog that has like dog face, a uh, monkey that can bark like a dog, and then a uh, there was a, a cobra snake that pants. You know how when a dog pants, a cobra does that. Um, or or, or Morrison's with Eddie, wait, wait, no, Eddie Murphy, Tim Allen, where he's in the elevator with Danny Glover, and you know behind him is a canine unit, an officer in a canine unit, right? And when it says sit, Tim Allen sits. <laughs> yeah. This is very, you know, this is very weird, you know. I don't see it on here though, but 
If you look at the poster, the dog has human eyes. If you look at the poster, it has human eyes, which is very creepy looking. I mean, yeah, I know, but... I know it was a guy, who, a human being, turned into a dog, though, but... Shouldn't give it human eyes. It's creepy as hell. I mean, Tim Allen, he's done a, he's done a lot better than this. I mean, Wild Hogs, the year after this, it was better, you know? Because she, so she got a better, much better cast. I mean... I mean, I mean, I like Robert Downey Jr. and Danny Glover, though, but the cast, I mean, you got Martin Lawrence, John Travolta, William H. Macy, Ray Liotta, and, and speaking of, oh, speaking of song choices, oh, yeah, because I was going to say song choices, what that was in Wild Hogs, like, you know, um, Give Me Some of Love and those playing the opening, or ACDC's High, Highway to Hell. Oh, because oh, especially with the song choices in this, I had to mention it because you know when he's chasing the cat, when he's uh, chasing the chasing the cat, you have who let the dogs out playing. <laughs> yeah, because this thing is who let the dogs out. It was played better in in that thirty in like that thirty like twenty second sequence in Rugrats Par Rugrats in Paris, when Spike was seeing the, the the French poodle. Then you have that song playing who let the dogs out. Um, there was another. There was there was another song choice. Oh, there was there was there was another there was another song song in there. I forgot it was in, but and it was probably something dog related, probably. I mean, let's say who let the dogs out, though, but. But anyway. Don't want to waste too much time on that, though. Uh. But eventually, you know, that Tim Allen, you know, told his kids that's him as a dog. Mm hmm. Or, you know, if it was funny how originally when, we, we, when he became a dog, he thought he was wearing a dog costume. <laughs> yeah. But trying to tell the kids that's him as the dog, and then... And then really find out that Robert Downey Jr. is doing the research, the, the, the genetic stuff, and then has to expose him. I mean... The whole time, during the, during the trial... Well, they're, they're both in the court. They're both in the court... They're both from the court, and when, you know, Tim Allen is getting his, like, his dog symptoms, right, he bites Robert Downey Jr., and this is where we get that scene where he's doing this right there, you know, and they're both growling at each other. So they're in a courtroom in front of everybody, and they're acting like dogs, see which one is better, and... But the thing is, though, Tim Allen tricks Robert Downey Jr. because he wants to expose him, expose him as he's the he's the guy who does all all these illegal generic stuff, right? Genetic stuff, right? So he throws a, he throws a stick or whatever, tells tells Robert Downey Jr. to go fetch. He does it, and it proves his point that he's the guilty one. So Robert Downey Jr. he gets you know arrested, yada yada. I mean, listen, Danny Glover. He a lot of times he's just, he's just in um. Well, he's not on trial. But he's like a, he's a friend of Tim Allen, but he's like on the you know the the defendant bench, whatever. I mean, it's a wait. I mean, wasted Danny wasted Danny Glover. Great actor, but he's wasted. He really basically does nothing in the movie. And then after that, then his then Tim Allen's wife knows about it, and then. They decided to keep the the, 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 the original dog, the, the, the 300 year old dog. They decided to keep it. And then we. Yeah, okay, that was the one song I was, I was trying to remember. I was remembering the song at the end. Is they see the dog surfing on the waves. They go to the, uh, the beach and they see the dog surfing. And the song they're playing is The Beach Boys. Yeah, so that was. That, was, that, that just clicked me. Yeah, because, yeah, The Beach Boys. God. Now, 
It's not the worst film I've seen. Let alone, it's not the worst remake I've seen. I mean, yeah, I've seen a whole lot worse, whether it's a regular movie or a remake of a movie. I've seen worse. But it's just, you know, the Shaggy Dog. It's just forgettable, as people will probably mention nowadays. I'm sure people will probably remember this film. But Danny, but Tim Allen, he's done better. He has. This is a, it's a, well, I can really blame Tim Allen. Well, well, it, well, part of me doesn't want to blame him because, you know, it's a job for him. But at the same time, you know, he just, he needs to select his film choices a bit more carefully. And it's not his fault to act that way. It's the, it's the script, it's how the way it is written. I mean, he's basically, he's done better. I mean, Wild Hogs, another comedy a year after this was better. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it, it's it's be, it's we all we all leave when he when he re, 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 um, rekindled his career with Iron Man. Like I said two years prior to this, well, uh, two years two years after this movie. You know, he was especially was embarrassing to act like a dog at the end of the movie. He was acting like a dog. I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. I'm glad we got him as we got him as Iron Man now. And like I said, Danny Glover is wasted. It, he does nothing. I mean, the kid Spencer Spencer Braslin. He was a kid that I did not. I did not. I do not hate. I mean. He was. It wasn't. He. It wasn't his fault. In the cat in the hat. Yeah, he was also in the cat in the hat. Did a long time ago. Cat in the hat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He was also in the happening. M Night's happening. What? No. Can't get that out of my head about that movie. What? No. Yeah, and he. But he was one of the kids that was with Mark Wahlberg and he gets shot, which surprised me. Spencer Breslin getting shot. But he was also he was also in Disney's the kid. He was the younger he was the kid a younger kid version of Bruce Willis in that film. And then they said the Santa Claus sequels. But and well Zoom was bad. Yeah, the, the Zoom was much worse than the Shaggy Dog. He was in that too. But it was just another, another it was just a t bland generic remake, you know. I mean, there's a CGI effect on Tim Allen, like the tongue, or how he's running, up, running on all fours. Oh, he bumps into the old woman, sends that old woman flying. I mean, it's some of the CGI and the animals weren't that good either. Or when, or when um, the dog itself, the the shaggy dog. Which... So yeah, I don't know more I can say. I mean. This this didn't need me to take long to review anyway, cause it's that forgettable. It's short, but that forgettable. But it's still forgettable. <sighs> why are we, why is removing the the bad films is trying to make me um, ranting on these movies to make me fall asleep, or give me stomach aches? Cause the only reason I've been doing these rants is be giving me enough, but make me fall asleep or give me stomach aches. Well, well there you have it anyway. Yeah, I mean, the guy Brian Re Brian Robbins. I mean, I would say Hardball is much better than any of the movies he's done, or this film is better than any of the three Eddie Murphy's film he did. I mean, Nor I mean, Norbert is the worst, especially one of the worst Eddie Mur. If not, I'd probably say the worst Eddie Murphy movie. I would say. Sheesh. Norbert gives me, gives gives me nightmares. But yeah, the Shaggy Dog. It was it was it was it was not that good. Like I said it was. It's not a full big rant though, but it's just you know an eh rant. It's like eh, as an eh, forgettable, and for good reason. That's why people don't talk about it nowadays. I mean, let's say Tim Allen. He's done better. So that's 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 how this rant is. It's like eh, forgettable, bland generic that's how it is <sighs> but yeah so that's my rant on the shaggy dog wasn't that it's not that it wasn't that long I didn't it did, I didn't need to go 30 minutes on this movie either so it was just the story was just plain and simple but anyway thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next uh, movie review later